All right, welcome back here to the grand finals of the Universal Open Rocket League Tournament here at the Esports Arena in Santa Ana, California. We are back and about to start the upper bracket finals between Gale Force Esports and Method. One of those teams, of course, Gale Force Esports is someone that we expected to, you know, be here pretty much the, the entire way, odds on favorite to win the match, but Method has been a bit of a shock for some folks up to this point. And Quinn, I got to start with you on this one because you looked at me during one of their matches and said, I think these guys are going to win, but they're going up against the potential tournament favorites. How does this match shake out? Uh, I think that this is going to be a, a different match here because Gale Force, they've really been struggling to find their fluidity, find be comfortable. We saw that yesterday, today much, much better. However, just the way Method has been playing ever since they got here, it looked like they wanted to win this tournament from day number one, game number one. These guys have not missed a beat, and the way that they're playing right now, I mean, that's tournament winning form. All right, so Wave, just a little bit different question for you here, um, because Gale Force seems like they turn things on about halfway through, whereas Method's been here the entire time. Given what you've seen off of Gale Force in the last couple of matches where they have been more dominant, do you still think that they've got the upper hand over Method here? Uh, Method has been playing near perfect Rocket League, and especially on the defensive front. They have let one goal in the entire tournament, and Gale Force has been playing very offensively, so that's good, but I think they're going to get significantly fewer opportunities, and with the shots that Method's been putting up, I think we've got a great match on our hands. All right, well, let's go ahead and take a look at our teams as well, because uh, we got some information on them in Gale Force, of course, the potential favorites of the tournament here. As you can see, we're going to take a look at their path to get here. And this was, I mean, what a way. They started the day with a 13-goal game. They end up winning in overtime a few minutes on. It's unbelievable performance. So they have been part of some very close matches. But on the other hand here, Magnus Betsonaris, these guys have been dominant. They have been taking out so many people. And I just don't know who can hold up against them. Now, on the other side, We've been going through the lower bracket as well, and most of the North American teams, unfortunately, have had to eliminate each other. And that was no different here, as Sizzle Your Cobb just barely takes out Dapji there, and Jacob ends up winning over his uh, teammates there. Then on the other side, we had a Flipside Tactics versus Mocket Esports match that was actually really interesting for us, mostly due to the fact that a lot of people just thought that Flipside would walk away with this, that it would be maybe a heavily favored advantage for them, but Mocket was very resilient, able to come back multiple times, tie things up, barely squeak into an overtime with one second remaining as they're about to be eliminated. But then they came up against the freight train, apparently, that is Sizz and Jacob right now. These guys have been playing out of their minds. And honestly, I don't know if I've seen a more convincing set out of Sizz or your cop, maybe through the entire regionals, than we just saw against Mocket Esports. That was awesome. All right, so let's talk back through this a little bit here and start to analyze what needs to be done. Obviously, Method has been playing incredibly cleanly, and it looks like, never mind, we're actually about to jump into the match. I want to get this thing started. So let's go ahead and send things up to Jorby and James with the call. Yeah, this first game of our first best of five series. I think this has been kind of anticipated ever since we knew this matchup was going to happen. Gil, four seasons. Yes, and them. Method. Method, they've only allowed a single goal all tournament long. Their defense has been just amazing, but now they're going against the high-powered offense of KDOP, Violent Panda, and Gale Force. Oh, and flipping it over to the side and knocked away quickly by KDOP. Cleared out by Violent Panda. We might see a quick back and forth between these two. Will Gale Force knock out this uh, this Ooh. method squad? That was that one. Going off to the side, KDOP making me trip up there. Violent Panda staying on this ball. It's knocked away by Metsonaris. So far, the first 30 seconds, a little uh, uneventful. When we have been asking ourselves, is this Method team really that good? They have been demolishing everyone in their path, and now they're one game away, or one series away, rather, from securing their spot in the Grand Final. Certainly their toughest test yet, Kadop. Off the ceiling, in midfield, coming down, and it's knocked away by Metsonaris. Not letting anything towards their net. That one thrown away by Violent Panda as it was sailing. And now heading back quickly, Violent Panda takes a shot. It goes in. It's one nothing for Gale Force Esports. And now Gale Force striking first. Kadop just hits that one high off the side. A missed challenge from Magnus. It looks like he did get a piece of it. As you see, the trail was orange, but Violent Panda just powers through, and they score first now. You know, they've been, they've been able to score as many goals against Method as every other team in the tournament. Yeah, I feel like they're going to need about five more until they probably <laughs> feel comfortable against this team. Midfield, and Magnus looking for Metz. He's going to find him. 
trying to roll that around Kadop. He's not going to, and Panda going to take control. Panda still with it. It's fine, and Kadop, but he hits the post, and it's going to go wide out to Magnus, who fights it past both defenders. That's an open net. Metz is going to play it slow. He can't get it by Kadop. Kadop got to that ball fast and keeps the scoreline 1-0. Yeah, and one important note, it's been best of three all tournament long. This is the first series that we'll see that is best of five. So this is a longer battle. That shot knocked up. They're coming right back down for Violet Panda, turned away by Magnus. Panda and Kadop kind of running into each other. Panda still rushing back to find the ball. He will push to the opposite side of Gale Force territory. Kadop finding Panda. Panda chasing this down. Magnus grabs it here off the ceiling. Still no verifiable shot on net, really, for Method so far. Trying to work it back downfield, but Violet Panda comes oh. up with the ball. He's going to have one man to beat, throwing it up high against the backboard. Kadop cannot get to that before Metzenaris is able to make the clear. Yeah, that was a good play by Metz, able to get that touch. Oh, oh he can't find it. Kadop, can he finish? He can't. Yes, he can. Oh. Two to nothing. Kadop oh, finishes Kadop. it off for Panda. Yeah, the boost stealing was real, and Magnus, he missed his chance. Violet Panda just knocks it off the post, and that was enough for Kadop to come in and work that goal. Two goals now for Gale Force. It seems like Method has finally been stopped in its tracks by this Gale Force squad. Worth to note, this is now the most goals Method has allowed in a single game. And now we'll have to see if they can prove their medal in game one or just have to reset game two. Gale Force looking strong. The corner, Kadop. Gonna opt for Violet Panda. Back and forth in the corner, both teams fighting for possession here. Kadop working the edge. High towards midfield, just sailing back. Magnus oh. and Metzenaris. <laughs> yeah, that one hit right on top of his car. Yeah. Right now, Guildforce, they have seven shots in total to Method. They just have two shots. It has been Method stuck oh, in there. Oh, the stuffed by Magnus, getting the savior medal. A minute 40 left to go. Still two to nothing for Gale Force, and they continue to put this pressure on Method. And like you said, only two shots on net in this entire game. Magnus getting a demo on Kadop, but not before he's able to clear it downfield. Gale Force showing why they were the tournament favorite coming into this matchup. Up to this point, Method just been seemingly unstoppable. Now Gale Force has kept this ball in their half pretty much oh. the entirety of the game, and Panda almost getting that dunk. Oh, that gets cleared down, but Kadop is right back for it. Not a rotational error coming out of Gale Force. Really wants this entire match, not forced back quickly. One Violet minute Panda. remaining. It's flipped by Magnus. Coming up, Magnus challenged by Kadop. It just goes straight back downfield. Kadop in the back of the rotation, consistently booming it back downfield. Time still ticking down. It is two to nothing for Gale Force in game one. Magnus really struggling to find anything as they still have to try to work it out of their end. Yeah, you can see here, Magnus and Metz haven't been really able to get anything going as a team. They just have to clear the ball down just so that they can get some boost. And after they clear it, possession is just retained by Guildforce for a majority of the game. Metz tries to set up Magnus here. And Magnus able to get that one in a bump, and then the shot, and then the goal. Metz and Norris puts their team on the board two to one. Just one Metz mistake. That's all it takes. You see there, Violent Panda getting beaten out by Magnus, and Kadop had no boost. Went for boost instead of playing the ball, and Metz strikes. With 20 seconds left, they can still tie it up. Two to one for Method and Gale Force Esports. In midfield, it's going to be Gale Force taking control. They just have to kill time. Instead, that's a boomer down towards the net, and Kadop able to make the save. Going to opt for Metzenaris. Kadop and Panza airing it down. Three, and remember, the game one. is not over until this ball hits the ground, and it will do just that. Gale Force taking game number one. Gale Force coming out swinging. That was the first game that Method has dropped. They were undefeated until this point. Gale Force, on the other hand, they had a slow start, but not a slow start in this game. This game one was all Gale Force. You take a look at the stats here. 10 shots for Gale Force to just four for Method. And the possession was all in favor of Gale Force. Yeah, superior control, like you said. And you'll see it on the replay here. The long rotations by Panda and Kadop. Kadop was just seemingly always back to get that clear downfield and just 
not letting Method have the ball. And we said all weekend that Method was the ones taking the ball away, and Gale Force was playing it better. Yeah, and you see there that pass from Violent Panda. He's so good at making those passing plays. That one challenge there, Magnus was able to beat out Violent Panda. That set up their chance. But still, the game was all Gale Force. And Violent Panda just being an excellent attacker, but also passer. That setup for KDOP was very good. And KDOP, he really is in my opinion, the best striker there is in Rocket League. You give him a shot, he will not miss. I, I can't argue with you on that. And he doesn't even have to be the best striker because when you have someone like Violet Panda on your team, you can just give the ball off to him and he's going to be able to do it. But we're going to get right in to game number two, Gale Force winning game one. Remember, this is now a best of five. And we will see if Gale Force can take this two match point or if Method can tie it up and force at least a game number four. Our players have taken their sides of the field and we will get right into this. Off we go. And now, Method, can they deal with adversity? They have been fighting from the lead every single game. Now, behind, do they have that mental toughness to bounce back? Carrying it out of their own end. Trying to play it away so smart. Metzenaris keeping it away from Kadop, but Kadop still comes up with the ball in the end. Oh, the looking pass. for Violet Panda, the shot, and it's not and not even close to the net, and it's gonna be boom downfield. Magnus, is he gonna get the touch? Oh, he gets Magnus. it! Magnus can't Kadop. get it! Kadop able to make the save, and then off the post, Metzenaris can't find it! Kadop. Somehow, Kadop consulting his crystal ball, predicting where those shots were coming from. What a play by Kadop. He proves that he can not only shoot, but he can save with the best of them. Magnus moving this down to the corner for another opportunity for Method. Moving down KDOP. Violet Panda in the wing. Can switch that towards the net? Magnus had to work the entire net to make that save. Your Metzenaris cannot beat KDOP to this ball. Off the ceiling, KDOP takes the shot, but it goes wide. Panda with the follow-up. It's one to nothing. And just like that, after being on their back wheels, KDOP leads the attack. Going up, getting that second touch in the contest. Actually bounced that right out for Violent Panda. A little bit of a fortunate bounce, but Panda, he was just circling the wagons, waiting to come in. Violent Panda has been playing superb all weekend long. No different in this series. Gale Force taking the early lead in game two. Violet Panda taking this one out off the kickoff. Just bumping Magnus away from that. Metzenaris coming to back him up. In the corner. Magnus and Kadop fighting for the ball. It's going to be Kadop getting it to Panda, maybe. He just dumps it off to the other side of the field. And, and you see a player do that. What they're trying to do is just dump the ball so that they can reset. They're both struggling for boost. Just try to hit the ball in a spot where the other team's going to have to chase it down, and you and your teammate can pick up that 100% boost. Kadop and Panda both resetting back to midfield. A dump to Magnus is challenged by Panda. Panda. Fighting both defenders here, opting now for Kadok. Metzenar is going to give it to Magnus. Two Mets, the shot is low, and Panda able to swipe it away. Magnus keeping it in. Two Metzenaris off the backboard. High, cannot find it. It can be cleared out quickly by Kadok. Kadok throws that on towards the backboard. Gonna have to rely on Violet Panda to keep this in play. Kadok. Still in the corner. Working towards the box. Magnus not letting him get there. He's going to take oh. it out now and throw it downfield. And that was a chance for Magnus to pass it over to Metz. You can see Magnus had no boost. He was just trying to get rid of it. But if he would have given it over to Metz and Ars, he might have been able to get boost and get back in the play and retain possession. Up to the other side of Method territory. The challenge gets it off to Magnus from Metz. Back to Metz. Old Metz hit there. Corner. Not able to find it, and it comes up with Kadop. Kadop down, field off the back wall. Really off the high ceiling. And there's that part of the ceiling where it starts to arc. When the ball's heading there, sometimes you don't know if it's going to bounce straight down or a little bit far out of net. You love that situation if you're the attacker because the defender at net is struggling oh, in that shot. Oh, no, it doesn't go in. Kadop off the post. Method able to get this one away, but they're still down by one. 2v1. And Kadop and Valent Panda challenged by Magnus off the ceiling. Is Magnus just going to take that midfield boost off for Metzenaris? Can they find an opportunity? Miguel Force has shut everything down. Everything that Magnus and Metzenaris have tried to do so far. A minute, 25 left to go. Still, 
one to nothing. Just slow, methodical play by Gale Force. You know they don't have to push anything. They don't have to try to force a goal. Content to hold this one goal lead. Seems like Gale Force has just thrown a wrench in this Method offense. There's been times where Method could just keep controlling that ball, try to make these plays happen that we've seen them do before, but no, they are just hitting it downfield, giving it up, because Gale Force is playing with a speed that is just throwing Method off their pace. Magnus downfield is really just going to catch for Kadok. Kadok has a 1v1. Kadok cannot get by Metzenaris. Slams that door shut. Time still ticking down for Method. And Panda knocked away by Metz. Magnus downfield. Again, maybe a passing play opportunity was just not, not an option for Method. That ball almost finding its way towards the net. Magnus rising up to make that save. Less than 30 seconds left to go. Just Method struggling right now to find anything. Kale Force needs to close it out. Method scored a goal in the final 20 seconds of last game. Oh, maybe an opportunity, but Panda was able to hit it away. Metz is trying to follow that. What a hit by Panda to get it away from Metz and Naris in Gale Force territory. As long as this ball is in the air, Method has a shot to Three, win or to tie two. game two at oh, the very least. Hits. A missed tap. That's going to hit the ground. Gale Force taking. This game to match point. That last touch just summarizing the game for Method. Magnus just hit that ball upfield when Metz wanted to dribble it up the wall. So that play ended the game for Method. And we take a look at the stats yet again. Outshot by twice the amount. Method only four shots, eight shots for Gale Force. And Gale Force, despite it just being a one goal game, they controlled the pace. And it's kind of funny just because Gale Force is literally beating Method at their own game right now. And, and the one goal that they scored is a result of Kadop putting pressure on the net. We saw in the previous series that Kadop putting shots on net forces rebounds out into the middle of the field. And Violent Panda, he's just waiting there, waiting to strike because Kadop, he generally will put a very dangerous shot on net, forcing the defense to make the play. And Panda, you, you have, we've seen all tournament long. In the, in the beginning, when Kadop was struggling, Violent Panda was not. He has been the most consistent player in the tournament. And now that Kadop is playing well, Gale Force is the team to beat, and they are dishing it to Method. Absolutely, and, and Method just looking a little uncharacteristic. We mentioned multiple times, we saw multiple times, passing plays that could have been had. Mets in open space, and Magnus had the space to pass it to him, and he just opts to boom it downfield. I'm not sure if it's a communication issue, or maybe they're just feeling the pressure from Gale Force, but they have to get these passing plays off. Like we've seen them do before these get these 50 50s these challenges and break up the offense from gale force esports but this is now do or die for method they have to win from here on out to stay alive in the tournament well not in the tournament they will go down to losers bracket if they do lose this game but you definitely want to be on the winner's side that's a quick pass headed towards the net slapped away by kada method up to this point, they've been very good. They took down Sizzle Yurkov, who's the team that they will face. And oh, oh my, oh, Kadop! Oh, Kadop! Goals, goals. Kadop, everyone's Bye, playing Kadop. Rocket League. Kadop's playing Pim, Pim. <laughs> Kadop's <laughs> playing Rocket League better than anyone right now. You see him just launching that one off crossbar, off post. And that shot, that's the start you want if you're Gale Force. They continue to dominate. Only 18 seconds already. Gale Force finding their first goal. Kate up on the challenge on the kickoff. Keep this ball in midfield. Gale Force looking to move it downfield. A missed tap. Kate up actually went flip. under. Panda the shot. Panda the goal. It's two Goals to nothing. 33 seconds. That's Sinaris. He says fields backflip, man. Accidentally doing that backflip. Panda comes in and has a wide open net. You see that Hellfire explosion from that shot. That gives a two-goal lead for Gale Force just 33 seconds into game three. Pretty much playing out as game uh, game number one did when Gale Force took an early 2-0 lead and held that lead for the, for the entire match. Now Method working down. Here's Magnus flipping it up to the corner. Violet Panda throwing it out. Magnus to Metz, challenged by Violet Panda. Kadop making sure that they have that defensive boost secured. He does find it and get the ball. That challenge is gonna find its way to Panda. Kadop downfield. Just seeing really go for the boost as they still have control of the ball. Panda's still on it. He beats Magnus. He kind of beats Metz on that play. Kadop rushing in. Kadop shoots oh, it off the crossbar. Just missing and Magnus 
and Metzanar is able to keep the scoreline to nothing. Uncharacteristic of Kate up there. He had a golden opportunity. Now he's going to get another one. Goes oh. for the dough. It's going off the crossbar. Almost getting it. Panda's going to finish it off. It's three oh, to nothing. Gale Violent Force dominating. Panda. And again, this is the pressure from Kate up. He doesn't get the goal here, but Kate up forcing the issue makes the ball pop right out to Violent Panda yet again as they continue to extend the lead. Gale Force is looking ready to move on into the grand final. This is the Gale Force we expected to see out the gate yesterday. And they finally seem like they've hit uh, mid-season form, as some like to call it. About three minutes left to go in game number three. Looking for the clean sweep in the winner's finals is Gale Force. Method having to move downfield. Magnus not even close to that challenge. Metz finding oh, Magnus. Oh. What a touch and what a save by Kadok. Just not enough power to move that in. You have to be thinking if you're Method, what do we have to do to get a goal? It seems every shot we put in just gets turned aside by this Gale Force defense. Oh, Magnus, can he find the net? He cannot. Kadok smacks it down. Metz. That's going to be off the backboard. And Panda's going to take it out. Kadoff's downfield. He's past the defense. Panda's just going to take it himself, but it's saved right off the crossbar by Metzenaris. Now, oh, oh Panda! Oh. Somebody call animal control because there's a violent Panda on the loose. Oh, it's four to nothing Panda. for Gale Force Esports. <laughs> eating twice his body weight in Rocket League opponents right now. Look at that shot right over Magnus. Kadoff and Violent Panda are on another level right now. Hey, we are not even halfway through this game. Gale Force just putting on a laser light show. Shot after shot onto the net and stellar defense as well. Method just shell-shocked right now against this Gale Force squad. In the corner, Metzanares gets it downfield, fighting every, every inch of the ball. Can he get it past Kadoff? He cannot roll it by. Kadoff gets it to Panda and they clear it out yet again. And Gale Force has had no trouble scoring on this Method defense. It seems certain now that Gale Force is going to be moving on and Method will have to play Sizzle Your Cobb down in that lower final. But the question now is will Method have any sort of comeback or will they go down into that lower bracket just getting absolutely hammered by Gale Force? All the options been covered. Metzenar is getting the pass from Magnus. Magnus going up in over towards the net. He just can't find it because Kadop is everywhere shot on the field. Kadop swinging down into the oh. net and saved by Magnus. Kadop almost to his a pass. Panda! Oh. Panda! Are you serious? Violet Panda. Panda, this shot out of this world. Look at that, continuing to boost and just launching it right over Magnus. Yet again, Violent Panda is a nutty, nutty player. A minute 30 left to go, and really when it's five to nothing, I, I, I gotta say, again, for we thought that Method versus Flipside was going to be close. It wasn't. And then we thought Gale Force versus Method would probably be close, and it wasn't. And here we are, a minute 15 to go in this game. Gale Force in full control to move on to the grand finals of the 2v2 NBC Universal Open. Time just ticking down. All Magnus and Metzenaris can do is just prevent Kadoff and, and Violet three. Panda from the scoring more goals. Who can stop Gale Force? Method, the team that people were thinking maybe they'll have a shot. This has been a completely one-sided affair. Gale Force, they're just using this as an opportunity to teach Method how to play. They got to score about a goal every seven seconds at this point, and Method's going to have to try to find a win against Sizzle Yurkov in the losers finals. As we are just waiting for time to end, or maybe we'll see the craziest <laughs> comeback in <laughs> Kate off again. How many, how many times he hasn't gotten every save on some of the clears he's had, but they've been saves even if they were clears. Just uh, his defense has been absolutely insane. Yeah, he he's like an expert in masonry, a brick wall just being laid down in front of that net anytime time Kadok's over there. Six, five, As time winds down, four, we finally reach three, the end two, and give it up one. for Gale Force Esports dominating here in the winner's finals. You thought you might have had some questions. They had a shaky start and now in final form, they're looking to walk into this grand finals. Yes, Violent Panda in this game 
Four goals all on his own. Some insane shots. Kade up as well, getting two assists himself. He was just forcing the issue, and Panda finishing off every chance he got. You look at the stats, it looks close from a shot's point of view, but Quinn talked about it before. A lot of those shots, they were just long clears that were on target that were never really threatening, and the few shots that were threatening, K-Dop just completely shut down. Gale Force is the team to beat, and they are in the Grand Finals. And we're just gonna look at these highlights because they're absolutely beautiful. It's gonna be the K-Dop and Panther show the whole way through. Uh, just nice goals all around. We're gonna see that, that quick passing play was probably my favorite one. Just K'd up to Panda. I think it was their third or fourth goal. Just capitalizing on both, creating their own opportunities. Oh, and this, this is this shot right here. Panda just going up. Yeah, that's just a textbook center. And Violent Panda was ready for it. And this solo play from Violent Panda. Oh. Just oozing with confidence, going for plays oh, like that. Oh, you see him getting pumped. The fist bump, they take down method three to nothing but we're gonna go down on the field with alex to interview the winning team oh yeah give it up for gale force esports they're your first team in the grand final of the universal open guaranteed top two looking really good against method and guys i, I want to talk about method because this is a team that coming into that match they only allowed a single goal and then you guys came through and 3 0 them and it looks pretty comfortable so can you talk about uh, how you were feeling going into that match, knowing how good they were looking, and did that affect your play? Uh, in the whole uh, tournée, they lost zero match, but we know we need to do zero mistake, and uh, we go on good ball, so, yeah. Yeah, very well played, and, and I'm gonna ask the same thing to you, Violent Panda. Uh, like, did that affect you? Did, how strong Method was coming in, or did it kind of fuel you a little bit? Uh, I was kind of scared for Method because we sprint them as well, and they won most of the games as well, uh, even though we didn't play series in scrims. But uh, I've said it before this match against them already. We'll see you in the finals, whoever wins or loses. I think they will, I will see them in the finals again. All right, well, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, Sizzly or Cobb, I was talking to them right here a little earlier, and they're like, oh, yeah, we're going to play Gale Force. I, I think you heard that. They thought they were going to play you. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? And, and, and again, you think that method's going to come out of lower bracket? Ah, uh, Sis and me like to joke around, but uh, I think Meta will win against them. Just the bold Sis. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens. Let's give it up one more time for Gale Force Esport, your first team in the Grand Final. That's right, we know our first team in the Grand Finals now. Gale Force Esports advancing past Method 3 to nothing. And of course, Method not out of the tournament yet. They're going to fall down to the lower bracket to play in the lower bracket finals. Another best of five against Sizzle Your Cobb, the only remaining North American team that's left in this tournament. Of course, the winner of that will advance to face Gale Force Esports in the Grand Final, where Gale Force will start with a 1 0 advantage in that best of seven. There is no bracket reset. They start with a 1 0 advantage for coming through the open brackets. All right, guys, so let's break down that match a little bit let's i mean that was really one-sided um <laughs> it seems like ever since uh, violent panda like activated his ult like two matches <laughs> ago or something like that and dropped five goals or something like that it's been non-stop pressure from them since and this is kind of the gale force i guess i expected to see right out of the gates it, it felt like games one and two were more what we were expecting they were much closer but still conceding more goals in those first two games than they had in the entirety of the tournament before that method really had their work cut out for them going up against gale force and then game three was just a blow away game but the first two were just decided by one goal apiece was still pretty close and then gale force happens in game three so yeah, yeah. okay well let's get let's get your thoughts on this too because something that stood out to me especially was that um it was close in the first two games as wave pointed out but like something went off i don't know if it was was it method trying to like we know we got to take a game here so we're taking risks and that's why they let up so many goals like what was it that kind of let out that outpouring of goals there from gale force in the last game yeah i think gale force really focusing on, on trying to understand method he mentioned that they practiced and scrimmed against them so much and when that happens and you start to you know kind of feel yourself and you get on fire and everything it's so much easier to carry that momentum and and you just see it in the grand grand or the final match the game mm. three they just it all came together for them and especially violent panda james <laughs> talking about it what a performance and you as well saying 
it's the old. It's like the best old of all time. And, and Violent Panda really going off. Yeah, hit the Violent Panda follow-up game. The way mm -hmm. he follows mm -hmm. behind and covers the most, the the, the clearest angle that's going to happen, and he follows at such close pace to Kadop that there is no way anybody can respond if he gets the bounce he's hoping for. And they, they, we saw him score time and time again throughout the entirety of the tournament and in this match with that follow-up game. All right. Well, let's take a quick preview then of our upcoming match. It's of course going to be Method again. We'll see them here in just a second. They're going up against Sizzler Cobb. Jacob even flying the finish flag pretty much the entire time on the back of his car, which I think is funny. They, they themselves said, yeah, we think Method's really good, but now they're going to face up against each other. Um, Sizzler Cobb looks stronger in their last match than Method did, but Method has been dominating before that. Who do you got going into this one? Um, I think that I'm going to put my money here on Method. Method just against Gale Force. This is the team that everybody expected to win, and you can't discredit them too much. They talked about winning scrims the day before. I mean, it's just at the time Gale Force coming out on top. I still think Method is one of the strongest teams here today, and I think we'll see that against the Zero Cobb. They're definitely one of the strongest here today. They're in the top three at this point. They can't finish worse than third. they're stronger than Sizzler but, Cobb. But here's the thing. <laughs> they just, they their whole thing was they were going undefeated. They weren't dropping a game. They weren't even dropping goals, and they just got beat 5-0 there in game three. And I, at this point, cannot stop believing leaving in Sizzle Your Cobb. I've got them going all the way to the finals. They'll face off against Gale Force in the grand finals. All right, I love it. Well, let's get some thoughts from the guys upstairs as well who called the games. Guys, take it away. All right, joining us in the uh, the imaginary seat in the booth is uh, Corelli. <laughs> How you doing, Corelli? You good? Feeling good? Doing all right, yeah, you know. Three, three, teams, left, uh, three teams left, guys, and uh, I mean, the Sizzle Your Cobb has been just, it seems like slowly powering up and Method has been powering down. So are we gonna, are we gonna see that continuation? You know, it's tough because Gale Force, I think they're just that good. I think they are a world-class team. They have KDOT, Violent Panda's been playing like a number one player in the world himself. They have been an unstoppable force and Sizzle Your Cobb, I think they had a really great series, but it's going to be a best of five. Best of threes, they're so short. If you steal that first game, it makes it a lot easier on you. You just got to get one more. But in a best of five, generally the better team wins. And I think Method showed already that they are the better team than Sizzle or Cobb. They destroyed them. They shut them out in the last series they played. I think an interesting thing that we haven't talked about yet is that Force has only dropped two games, and they were to the two weakest teams, on paper at least, that they've played all tournament That's to Incognito true. and to Ambition, who Ambition did upset G2, which is a fantastic uh, achievement for them. But Force, those are the only two games that they dropped to Weaker teams in comparison to what they've beaten now. Gale Force is on a roll right now. They're only picking up speed. And I think that, or momentum, I guess you should say. And I think that Gale Force right now is feeling really good against anyone they play against. I think you guys uh, nailed the head. But uh, here's the thing is the Gale Force, well, they always look super strong going into the grand finals and then <laughs> they lose. Uh, they're the second, the second place heroes. I, I, I can't, I, I don't believe in, super, I'm not a superstitious kind of guy. But, you know, patterns, you just kind yeah, of get second place. You know, pa I mean, patterns are meant to be broken. Yeah. I think this is the tournament that Gale Force turns it around. Well, we'll send it right back down to Kevin. Take it away. All right. Thank you very much, guys. And we are going to be taking a little bit of a break here as we get ready for the next set of matches that are going to be popping up at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, live on NBCSN. Hopefully, hopefully you guys will catch us then. We'll be back for the Universal Open Rocket League Grand Finals.